Hey guys, this is CWAT, and you're watching a longer form explanation of one of my Minecraft minutes. Today we're looking at the Night Powered Beacon. So basically, the Night Powered Beacon is made up of some very simple components. First of all, we have a daylight sensor with some redstone running out of it. In the middle of that redstone trail, we have an inverter, which is essentially a block with a redstone torch on the other side. As you can see here, the powered redstone runs into the inverter, and then on the other side, is powered off. At the end of the redstone trail, we have a sticky piston located underneath a powered beacon. In this case, the sticky piston is in the retracted mode and has pulled out the middle gold block, and so the beacon is not currently powered on. Once the daylight sensor is no longer able to detect any daylight, it will in turn power off. A result of powering off will mean that the inverter will turn on the redstone on the other side. This will result in the sticky piston being turned on, which will extend it out, pushing the gold block back into the center of the pyramid, which as a result will turn on the beacon. Now I'm going to take you through the process of making this exact same thing. So first, I'm going to create my gold base to power my beacon. And in this case, I'm going to elevate it a little bit higher, like I've done over here, so you can see what's going on above the ground. I could, in fact, however, build the beacon flush with the ground with the sticky piston located underneath the ground. But in this case, for simplicity, I'm going to build it this way. So I'm going to build my 3x3 three three base. And then I'm going to place my beacon in the middle, on top, which will power it on. Next, I've placed my sticky piston underneath the pyramid, facing upwards, so that when it extends out, it will grip the middlemost gold block, and then when it retracts, it will pull it back down, as you can see on the one behind. Now, I'm going to set up my red trail out to where I want my daylight sensor. You can see in this case, I haven't placed the inverter yet, because I'd like you to see what happens to the sticky piston when the inverter isn't there. However, the redstone power isn't quite reaching the piston at this moment, so I'm going to have to place a repeater to get that power to the end. Now that I've placed that repeater, you can see that the piston has been engaged and has reached up and pressed up against the gold block. When the sticky piston comes back down, it will pull the middle gold block down. So as you can see, without the inverter, the daylight sensor is powered on, detecting the current sunlight, which in turn is sending that power directly down to the sticky piston, which has pushed the gold block up into the base, turning on the beacon. If I place an inverter in the middle of this using a block and a redstone torch, you'll now notice that the power is coming away from the daylight sensor as it is currently detecting daylight, hitting the inverter, and then not continuing onwards as it is currently inverting that signal. Because of that, the sticky piston has retracted, pulling the gold block down and turning off the beacon. Now, if I advance time until night, you'll notice that once the light levels get low enough, the daylight sensor powers off the redstone, which runs into the inverter, inverting that signal, sending a powered signal out to the sticky piston, which in turn pushes the gold block up into the nine gold blocks, powering on the beacon. When we come to daytime again, the daylight sensor will once again detect light levels, which will in turn power on the redstone, hitting the inverter, sending out a powered off signal to the sticky piston, which in turn will retract, pulling the gold block down and turning off the beacon. And here's an example of how you can run that circuitry underground, having the daylight sensor on the surface and the beacon flush with the ground. Cut that one out. I'll take my drink for a sec. Yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> It's not a drink though. Zero meters. Well done. 